Hi, this is Karthik Rangappa and welcome to another Varsity video. This video is in continuation of the previous video where we discuss career opportunities in corporate finance. In this video, I'll talk to you about opportunities in an investment bank. Like in the previous video, I'll throw some light on the day-to-day -day activities you would carry out in an investment bank and a public and private market entity. You'll also understand the skills you would need to master such roles. Imagine you ask a budding doctor studying medicine at a university what his or her career aspiration is. Chances are the person will say that they want to grow up to be a cardiologist, radiologist or maybe a neurologist. No budding doctor in a right frame of mind will say the career aspiration is to work at a super speciality hospital. There will always be specifics. Likewise, if a young financial professional says that the career aspiration is to work at an IB, then it's a clear sign that the person does not understand the structure of an investment bank. Now, before you aspire for a job at an investment bank, you need to understand the structure of an investment bank. Now, think about an investment bank as a financial supermarket. Whatever is your financial requirement, you can approach an investment bank and they will fulfill that for you. For example, you could be a car manufacturing company wanting to raise funds to fulfill a capex requirement. You consult an investment bank with this requirement and the investment bank will tell you the best way forward. Whether you should dilute your equity and raise money via IPO or issue a bond and raise debt capital. If it's the IPO route, then the investment bank's valuation team comes into picture and helps you assess the true valuation of the company. Post that, the merchant banking unit of the investment bank comes into play and helps you file the IPO application with the regulators. Apart from that, the investment bank will also help you with the roadshow, communication with the brokers, and everything else there is to make your IPO successful. Alternatively, if the fundraise is via debt, then the investment bank's fixed income valuation team and the fixed income sales team comes into play. The investment bank will ensure that your debt is placed in the market and fully subscribed. In some cases, the investment bank itself can underwrite the issue for you. Essentially, an investment bank will help you raise funds, either via equity or via debt. This is a large part of what happens in an investment bank. There are interesting career opportunities across all these teams, be it merchant banking, fixed income valuation, equity valuation, fixed income sales, or it could be the investment bank's communication team. You can explore opportunities across all these teams based on your interest and your skills. Apart from the fundraise, an investment bank also helps you with mergers and acquisition. For example, you could be a company wanting to acquire another company completely, or you could simply be looking at making a large strategic investment in another company. Alternatively, you could be a target company wanting to get acquired or looking for a large strategic investment from a bigger player in the industry. An investment bank will help you with the matchmaking. Or sometimes you could be a company not wanting to do anything, but maybe an investment bank can foresee opportunities for you and pitch the idea of either a merger or an acquisition. Now, if you think about what I just said, pitching an idea is largely a sales driven activity. Now, all such sales roles within an investment bank is carried out by something called as the front office of an investment bank. In the Indian context, most investment banks' front office roles involves you meeting company's management and pitching such ideas. But the front office roles in most investment banks in the Western world also involves trading activities. The trade could be in equity, commodity, currencies, or highly structured debt products. These trades can be internal on the books of an investment bank or it could be on behalf of clients. If it is on behalf of clients, again, the trade idea should be pitched to the client before executing the trades. Again, this is a sales-driven activity. The risk evaluation of all such trades happen in the middle office of an investment bank. While the front office role in an investment bank looks all sleek and fancy, these folks are answerable to the risk team sitting in the middle office. The middle office team's job is to evaluate risk at various levels and send out alerts in case they sense risk blowing out of proportion. Finally, the back office role of an investment bank involves trade entries and reconciliation. Most of the back office jobs are outsourced to India. So if you're interested in working for an investment bank, 
try to identify what interests you and start exploring in that direction. If it is an Indian investment bank that you're interested in, then most front office job involves deal making and M&A. M&A can be domestic or a cross-border M&A. If it is the investment bank based outside India, then apart from deal making and M&A, you also have trading opportunities. Trading could be across various asset classes, including complex structured products. Of course, merchant banking is another big career opportunity within an investment bank. If you aspire for a job in merchant banking, then understanding of capital market regulation is a must. The essential skills required to crack a job at an investment bank involves financial statement analysis, financial modeling, superb understanding of derivative products, sales skills, basics of micro and macroeconomics, and most importantly, understanding of fixed income instruments. Additional skills like programming is a huge advantage. Knowing Excel and knowing how to operate a Bloomberg terminal is a plus point. The middle office job at an investment bank requires you to have all the skills that I just mentioned, but apart from that, you need to be good at modeling risk. Specific certifications such as the FRM will help you secure a job at a middle office of an investment bank. While FRM is specific to middle office, certifications like CFA also comes in handy when you're looking for jobs at an investment bank. Now here is something interesting. Remember the car manufacturer wanting to do an IPO example? Now based on your position in the finance department of the car manufacturing company, you would be required to interact with the investment bank to take your company public. Now this experience of interacting with an investment bank will eventually open up opportunities for you to jump from a corporate career to an investment bank. In fact, you can use this opportunity to join an investment bank as a sector specialist. So far, we've discussed career opportunities in corporate finance and investment banking. In the next video, I'll talk about career opportunities in private and public markets.